Hi viewers, welcome to Penthouse Jordan. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Airmail Validity 71 JT fountain pen. And this is a here the T stands for transparent and J stands for the jumbo size. And this is an orange color marble finished fountain pen and eye drop open. And this video is specifically taken to give you the uh, clear insight on the pen that because just with photos you can't understand fully. So here and again here is there is a breather hole and on the cap which will prevent the ink from clogging and it maintains a balanced atmospheric pressure so that ink does not uh, leak or burp ink through the nibs <coughs> in this uh, the variety was uh, stamped in this body and the pen held on the body with thread mechanism you have to unscrew the cap this is number eight nib and you can also swap with number 35 nibs and yeah we are having a number 8 and 35 nibs in many brands usually pen enthusiasts will swap with candid nibs where we have a uh, fine medium and broad nibs and again with gold jewel tone and silver plated nibs also and flex nibs also we swapped in this pen in number 35 nib and the choice is yours and you can go to the site and click pen spares then go to nibs there you can use a filter and make a query on what you require and here i'm going to measure the entire size <coughs> the holding area the grip portions are diameter is 10.2 mm and this is a quite bigger diameter so this is this pen is more suitable for adults who have bigger fingers and here the body is 13.7 mm as this is a uh, uh, the reservoir capacity is uh, more we can fill more than 3 ml of ink in this pen and here the length of this pen without cap is 133.6 mm and again with cap it is It is 154.1 mm and yeah with this uh, length uh, you can find the exact uh, pouches for this pen any holders the sizes uh, the pen size is most uh, playing a most important role and here I'm going to give the weight details of this the entire body's weight is 27 grams and also please note since this is a transparent body please do not use primary color ink so that it will create a strain on the wall of this pen and on pen maintenance please wash the pens regularly that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on the long usage so if it blocks the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing and uh, it is a sign and then slowly you will, uh, it will the ink will dry quick and then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out so we may experience this and the reason is the blockage in the feeder scroll so to clean the deposits and dirt please remove the feeder unit and the nib separately by holding the nibs and feeder together and twist and pull out so this is easy to uh, come and pull it out so this is a simple two piece process and then Flush the feeder with the help of toothbrush and clean well with the soap water or in tap water. If you are soaking in soap water then allow it for an hour and uh, brush and clean. And this is so simple to fix it back. Yeah that's it. And <coughs> In the ink bottles itself you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water. And Here I am showing the sample. This is Prill bottle. It is in. It is given here. Clear. Uh, clean your pen with water before filling with Brill ink. And so it is clear. Unless otherwise we have a good maintenance, the ink flow will be affected. And again on maintenance, all the threads are turned to worn out. So to increase the life of thread, please apply a silicone grease or Vaseline every time when you open and close the grip area during the ink fill. And also, whenever you fill the ink, fill below the inner threads. 
so if you fill in egg excess you will get a leakage and uh, uh, it will spoil your hands and also few nibs need to be fine tuned because during manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines uh, up and down so it will create a space in between you have to do like this up and down and that space gives a good ink flow and uh, in turn you will get a smooth writing and please ensure both the tines are in parallel if not you will get a scratchy writing and whenever we dispatch the pens to our customer we do this fine tuning and check before dispatch this is a very usual practice and here i'm going to give the writing sample of this for that i'm using our penthouse emerald green color ink Yeah, the writing is so so smooth like butter and now variety armel pens uh, nibs were getting so good because comparing to before now this pens nibs are having no fault so you can directly use this uh, nibs alone and if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to our mobile number thanks for watching this video thank you